Actually, a man I admire tremendously called David Attenborough, and I'm about to introduce a wildlife program. Over here, we have the hawk. Anyway, I'm standing in Iceland right now, in a place called, actually, this is a very beautiful, spectacular waterfall called Detifoss. You can't see it from here, but when you get over there, you get a full sense of the scale. And ironically, um, my last day of shooting is, will, is completes the beginning of the film. Do you get that? Or I said that the wrong way around. But anyway, uh, the beginning of the film will be from this place. Um, and that happens to be the last day of shooting. Um, Bradley, it's, um, it's been 25 years since you directed a science fiction film, uh, Blade Runner. Maybe, maybe a couple of people here have heard of that movie. Um, wh why, why did it take you long, uh, so long to, to come back? Because I was, I was actually too busy doing other, other movies and exploring other genres. So frankly, I never actually thought about science fiction ex until I started to realize that actually there was something in the first of the first aliens that no one had ever answered, asked the question about. And it, for, in the next three aliens, still no exploration of that one big question. And I thought, well, that could be the centerpiece of what we've just completed. Um, that said, that is about the only DNA loosely applied to the original alien. Um, uh, we've gone in another complete di different direction, but in the last few minutes of the movie, you'll actually understand what I'm talking about. I certainly hope so. Um, uh, CG, computer-generated... Uh, so do um, I, so do Fox. <laughs>